guys, welcome to my channel, Among Stouts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kiddos. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you all about my goals for the year 2021. <laughs> so I don't normally do a word of the year, but I'm going to go ahead and do one for this year. Um, I thought it would be fun and there's one that has been on my mind a lot lately and one that I've been working on in 2020. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it on through 2021 as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So my first goal for 2021, and if you see me looking down, if you aren't new here, I always have notes that I'm going off of just so that I don't forget anything and so that I stay on track for you guys. Um, so pardon my looking down, but that's why I do it. Um, so my first goal for 2021 is to get back on track with our full homeschool schedule. So since Thanksgiving, we have been on a modified schedule. Um, we were continuing with math, language arts, and units, a mini unit study in November. And then in December, we cut off math and language arts and we just went on, we just went full Christmas unit study and reading. And um, now currently after Christmas and going into the new year, we are taking um, a break before we start up new in the second week of January. So we were taking a full two weeks off um, post Christmas and into the new year. So we will be getting started back in our next quarter on January 11th. And at that time is when we are going to bring back in all of our curriculum that we were doing pre Thanksgiving. So that's all of our subjects, our math, our language arts, all of our CC comes back in, um, all of my kids little like STEM projects and typing and basically everything that we were doing at the start of the school year, we're going to begin doing again starting in January. Um, and so that is the goal is to hopefully as seamlessly as possible, get back on track into our full homeschool schedule. And so um, next I have, this is a major goal for me because read alouds became something um, that were stressful to me with all the reading and I didn't want to do them. And so over the last two months, we have been doing more read alouds since we've had less schoolwork, but I want to continue with that. And I really want to be more intentional and more serious with our read aloud time and actually completing the books that I purchased specifically for our read alouds, um, getting through those books. We've only gotten through two of them and we've added in tons of other books that we've been reading instead. So I really want to get back on track and get back to that read aloud list that we have and become more intentional with our time and actually probably schedule out the chapters that I'm going to be reading every day so that I can hold myself accountable and just get more serious about it. Um, and being serious about getting started and getting finished with each book in about a month, which was my intention from the beginning. <laughs> okay, and so that takes me into number three is my kids, um, my two older kids especially, do a lot more, um, they do a lot of independent reading on their own. And as of right now, the only thing that I have them do is log it. And I'm not really holding them accountable in any other way in regards to their independent reading. So I do have a goal of beginning to implement book reports for them. And so um, a couple of months back, I did purchase a printable that um, Ashley from Grace and Grit has on her um, website for, she has like a flower printable and then a wolf printable for boys. It's just a really easy and cute layout for um, your kids to complete their book report. So I am, I have a goal of starting to implement those and requiring those out of my kids for each book that they read independently. And then the next one is huge. It can be so type A and so schedule and routine oriented that sometimes I forget to um, seize the moment and take the day for what it is. And so on days that are absolutely beautiful and that are nice outside or when my kids are just feeling antsy, I want to be more intentional about spending more time outside and not feeling bad about what we won't be doing inside. So that is a huge goal of mine is getting outside more often and um, not feeling bad about it either. So if my kids want to go to the park or 
um, go on a little hike at the nature center or go do some of these other things. I want to, I want to do those with them and I want to spend the time doing those, but I also want to give myself grace and not feeling so tied down to my routine and my schedule to allow myself the capacity mentally to just go and do it without like so much stress about what's not getting done at home. So that is a huge goal for me in 2021. And um, I do have on here as another goal is loosen up on my control. So if you haven't noticed, control issues are a little bit of a thing. And in 2021, I have a goal on really working hard to loosen up um, and not be so type A me that I am because while it can be good, a lot of times it also can stress me out and um, make things feel too rigid and not enough intentionality behind things or heart behind things because I become too um, focused on what's on paper. Okay, and so the next goal that I have is to reduce my kids' screen time. And this is an overall screen time because my kids actually don't spend a whole lot of time on TV. I'm talking more video games, especially for my older two kids. Um, they already probably get less than a lot of their peers. Um, I allow them to play their Switch for an hour and a half each day as long as all of their work has been completed. And they also can't have that time until after four o'clock. So I feel like I've done a really good job at reducing it to what it is now, but I want to further reduce that even more and um, make it to where my kids are only getting video games on the weekends. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, about an hour each day, 30 minutes to an hour each day. And just making it to where I want to have intention on getting my kids outside, but I also want them getting outside and doing other things on their own and using their time um, being creative and doing things with their hands and getting dirty and just being free kids. I want them to um, experience that kind of growing up like I did and not so much inside and on their video games and like always ask me, can I, can I play my Switch? Can I play this? Can I play that? Um, I want them to be able to easily do other things and enjoy doing other things as well. So it is a goal of mine to start working on reducing that screen time. I'm not gonna cut it all out um, at one time, but I do plan to reduce it and hopefully sometime halfway through 2021 or by the end of 2021, we've cut it back drastically to where I want it. Okay. And the last two are all about me and have nothing to do with homeschooling. Um, I guess my mood has a lot to do with homeschooling, so it, they can not affect that, but, um, it's a goal of mine to continue to make time for God and exercise in my morning, every single morning. Um, I have already seen it through 2020 that when I don't make my Bible study time or my workout time a priority or even make it consistent in my life, I can feel like I lose a sense of control of some sorts. I can, um, my mood can get dampened. And so just to keep my spirits up and to keep the morale up for me, which then keeps it up for my kids, um, I need to focus on keeping those as a priority every single morning and stay consistent with it. That is the key is consistency because it can be easy for me to start, um, but keeping up with it is where it gets hard for me. So remaining consistent with my Bible study, Bible study time and my exercise routine is going to be um, a huge goal of mine for 2021. And then last but not least, I've talked about it in previous videos. I do have celiac disease and I have in this last year in 2020 not taken care of myself the best and I have been feeling it majorly. So um, a goal of mine is to get back on track with my health, cut out all of the gluten and all of the junk and make healthy decisions for myself and um, not only for weight purposes but simply because I need to in order to remain healthy and active and um, to be present in my kids' lives when I'm not good on being gluten-free. Um, migraines get really bad, inflammation gets really bad, which then causes my body to hurt. So I'm not being the best mom when I'm not being healthy. And so that is another huge goal of mine in 2021. So those are all of the major goals that I have for this upcoming year. I am um, 
like I said, I don't usually have a word of the year, but this year I did go ahead and pick a word. And this is one that over the last few months, I ha I've already mentioned at the, beginning of the video, at the beginning of the video, this is one that I've already been pondering. And so I'm just taking it with me into 2021. And that is peace. Um, I am praying to God for peace that surpasses all understanding in all areas of my life and to just over for my body to just be overcome with peace day in and day out because um, peace leads me to being a more patient and loving and intentional mom, teacher, wife, all of the things. So that is my word is to have peace. Um, that usually comes from, again, me having rest in my soul through my Bible study time, rest in my spirits and in my body with my health and my fitness, um, worship, and just having um, God at the center of everything. And so that is my word of the year, and those are my goals for 2021. I am so curious to know if you guys do um, have a word of the year, let me know what it is down in the comments below. And also what are some of your goals going into the new year? What are your expectations for 2021? I really don't know what to expect. So I'm not trying to, um, so I really don't know what to expect out of 2021, but again, with praying for peace that surpasses all understanding, I hope that whatever is thrown our way, um, I can go about it with God at the center and peace overcoming my um, body and spirit. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know your um, word of the year or your goals down in the comments below. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And please, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.